everyone and welcome to the boss guide of Hachiro Kiyokawa on Twilight difficulty in Rise of the Ronin. I'll show you the no damage fight first followed by the stats, gear, difficulty, the guide and then additional fight at the end. For more guides and the latest gaming content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. In phase 1, the two most common moves you'll see from the boss if you are at a distance from him are First, this weapon drag attack followed up by another jump red attack And the second one is the thrust attack which will again be followed by some red attack if you parry it At close melee, he can swing his weapon from his back and follow up with a quick slam, thrust or a jumping unblockable slam you can keep block up for this two hit combo unless it's the jumping red attack which gives you enough time to react. Next in melee is this three attack combo which you can block or just avoid. One thing to emphasize, always be ready for a follow up unblockable attack after you parry and make him panic. Once he loses about 50% HP or you stack a crit him, you can make him stay in this one-handed weapon phase for some more time if you don't parry his attacks and his weapon doesn't break. As soon as you parry any non-jump attack, his weapon will probably break and his two-handed phase begins. He has a similar attack at range where he would drag his weapon in. In this phase too, he will follow up a parry with an unblockable attack. The strategy here was to stay at range and let him do his jump attack, parry it and move out for his follow-up. Go in to land 2-3 to three hits and move out again. His unblockable attacks include his swings and thrust attack. And also this very delayed grapple attack which if you haven't practiced the timing is better to just backstep out of. You won't have to deal with these melee combos. The 3 hit or the 5 hit one as long as you follow my strat of moving out of his melee area after 2 to 3 hits of punishing. It's also helpful to keep your block up while at range for the thrust attack which is a little quick. I'll close it off with another no heals fight with him to give you another example. I can see why 
along with the different fights I showed here will help you get this boss quickly. For more game guides and latest gaming content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.